So Raven is a huge project. Can you explain something about this boat? Yeah, I, I think it's a super, super interesting possibility to create something novel in the marine industry. It was, uh, I think, the client, luckily there's a really open-minded client that was willing to push the envelope what we can do 2023 with the sailing boats and uh, I was super happy that I could be part of that and then to be able to bring the best talent what we think to make it happen so that collaboration has been fantastic. Can you explain something about the way she foils? Uh, so we are not fully foiling we just uh, basically we are skimming we have a lift fraction let's say I don't want to put the correct numbers but let's say it's a more than 50 and less than 100% is the lift fraction. And uh, uh, the reason why we want to have a foil in there is mostly to generate the writing moment, just to make able to go fast. I think we try to push the speed. We try to make an overall boat. It's not trying to be the fastest. It, does, it just tries to be a fast overall boat. And uh, for that, we try, try to find a way how we can make faster than canting gear bolts and that was uh, quite difficult. So that's why we had to do quite big loop to try to find a solution that we can put the interior, make it fast and still be a con competitive with the speed. But let's see how it goes. So in the next to the helm there's a console, so basically there you can change the angle for the foil plus the flaps, but there's an automated control system as well. So basically it can run automatically or you can use it manually. When you are in Arbo, which is the way you manage the foils? Well, this is not a practical boat. Let's, uh, let's step out from that. So for sure we knew from the day one that this will have a lot of limitations. It's a little bit like a Perth of Imoka 60 kind of boat. So it's just for sure it's not easy. There will be certain Perth for the boat weight it's going to be. That's, this is not used as a normal sailing boat that travels from harbour to harbour. It's going to be used in special occasions. And uh, we have two options. Either we can drop the foils down in a bottom-bottom position, or we can lift them up higher. So basically we can disconnect the main hydraulic cylinder from the foil arm and we can have a secondary cylinder on top and we can lift them in the top position. And when there is uh, not that much wind, uh, you can sail with all the foil up? Or? Yeah, but it doesn't make it. So basically, you mean when we are sailing, can we use that? I, we still use a little bit of foil, but we use that almost, almost like a tacker board mode. Yeah. In that time, we are, not, we are just generating side force, not the lifting force. So depending on the speed and angle, we try to do different things with the foil. Do you think that this kind of boat can have a future? You will uh, in some way study something? I think like a sailing boat design, history has gone with the certain steps. This might be one of the branches that it gets a different kind of sailing boats in the future. We can see that it, it works really well. There's a benefits, there's a lot of negatives. So I'm not saying that this is the only option how to make sailing boats, but I think it opens up new ways to make sailing more interesting. You can make a little bit more comfort, you can make a little bit more speed. So I think that will open a new kind of market sector. So I think that's why I think it's important for the sailing industry. Can you tell us something about you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can tell something. I'm a wooden boat builder and I'm a naval architect. I'm an industrial designer. Uh, we have a team of 100 people working in Helsinki, about 40% uh, of them are foreign, they relocate to Helsinki. We do all kinds of uh, interesting projects, about 40% is related to water. Uh, super yachts are, I call them hobby, because uh, I love to do those. So anyways I would be doing them in my free time, so that's something, but I try to have only few clients in a time. So all the super yachts are special. That the main business is in a mostly in a serial production boats like, uh, let's say, Axopar or similar brands where we do the full package. So in our office we do the full package. So it's the turnkey solutions. We do CFD optimization, frame calculations, exterior interior design, manufacturing, branding, graphics. 
so about 40% boats and rest is mar marketing or branding, industrial design, co uh, let's say engineering, game engine development. So we call our office a creative office. We have quite many projects with the full electricity. So we have a full battery powered boats. Uh, Ocean Vault, we did that already maybe 10 years ago. Ocean Vault with the light displacement hull form. We are working with the Candela for those uh, fully foiling electric boats. The sustainability thing is uh, it's a difficult one. It's, uh, we try to do uh, quite a lot of shortcuts in there. We try to take the responsibility to be open and uh, analytic, but uh, there's a much better ways to limit the CO2 emissions than boating. There's much more effective ways. Of course, we try to do absolute best. So in the hull design, uh, our step hulls are based on Mercury, what I have heard. They are the one of the most efficient hull, hulls currently in the market. The Levy coefficient is a super high, plus two in the Levy coefficient. So we are doing all the things what we can do to make every time the hull more efficient. But we are not... Uh, we try to bring fun to the people. That's our main core in the in the boat industry or boat business. That we just try to make uh, enjoyment for the people and not necessarily have this kind of guilty feeling of the the things what we are doing. I think uh, in the same time it's important to have that fun aspect in the life and uh, that we try to bring. In boating, it seems that innovation uh, is make it strange. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it, that's the. I can see that happening as well. So I think that's the. Somehow it feels that it's easy way to make something innovation. Just making odd. You do something totally different, not necessarily practical. I think there's also space for that. I think there's importance to make that kind of things. I'm not necessarily fully following that thing. I I think uh, we should be more heavy with the uh, hardcore engineering and not try to make them only styling exercises because there's a bigger advancement to be done in that kind of basic fundamentals of the boat. But I think it's a good that there's uh, people who are, who are willing to take the risk and make it something crazy. But uh, maybe this is one of the boats, but I think this is mostly done by trying to have the performance as high as possible. So our idea was not to try to make something different. We had a really easy task to try to be faster than the things what are.